So I'm really having fun with these two cameras and the Nifty 50. It's just awesome because here, as you can see, it's a wonderful place. Look, there's a playground and you see, look, awesome. I love it. Hey Michael, come up. You want to say hi to my subscribers and viewers on YouTube? Yeah. Say hi. Oh. Are you shy? Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. What do you say? Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> okay, so now we're going out and I'm going to show you the Canon 90D and the Canon EOS R with an FD50. What's up guys, Dan Frolani here and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If not, just hit the like button. So I'm here in uh, not a park. That's where I go jogging. I mean, here. And today, apparently they reopened the playgrounds so my kid can play, hopefully, without problems. Want to say something? Yes. What do you want to say? Bike. What bike? Nothing. I just said it. <laughs> okay. Would you like a new bike? No, I already have it. I oh, already have it. Where is it? There. Okay. Okay. So now I'm just gonna set up my tripod here, and I show you. What the Canon EF 50mm f1.8 looks like on the 90D first and then on the EOS R. from the camera because of the focal length because even though it's a 50 millimeters it's on a crop sensor camera that means like an 8 ish millimeters well the first thing we should fix is the sound because the camera is like uh, a little bit over six feet away from me no maybe a little bit less like 510 away from me so I'm gonna use a lavalier microphone now okay so I don't have to scream anymore I can speak normally and the sound should be fine. The aperture is at f12, so we don't have a shallow depth of field. So in order to be able to open the aperture farther, we need to use an ND filter. I'm gonna put it right now. Okay, so the ND filter is on and I was able to set the aperture wide open at 1.8. And this is what it looks like. I mean, the background is just awesome. Let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment down below, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and check the links in the description to see all my gear and things and stuff. My gear. Again, this is the Canon 90D with the Nifty 50 at f1.8. So now, I already said that this is a crop sensor camera. It doesn't look like a 50 millimeters on a full frame, but rather like an 80 millimeters. So we're gonna see what it looks like on a full frame in one second on the Canon EOS R. Now. This is the Canon EOS R with the Nifty 50. The first thing we notice is that it's wider, you see, because this is a real 50 millimeters on a full frame camera. I'm using an ND filter to keep it wide open, f1.8. Ah, oh, there is to say that this is the EF version, not the RF, because recently was released the RF version of this lens, which is specifically designed for the Canon EOS R, R5, R6. 
and the price of the EF lens is like around 100 bucks. The RF version is like 250, something like that. So it's officially the cheapest RF lens. Why did I not buy it? Well, first of all, I have watched many reviews about this lens, the new RF 50mm 1.8. And besides some minor improvement of the minimum focus distance and maybe sharpness, if you're really a pixel peeper, but besides that, the only advantage, according to what I have seen and what they say, is just that if you have the Canon EOS R with the RF version of the Nifty 50, you don't have to use the adapter. Well, I already have the adapter, and that allows me to use this Nifty 50 on the EOS R, and I've been using it on the Canon 90D and on the Canon M50 with another adapter for a mount cameras. So even if the price of the new Nifty 50, the RF version, is not really expensive, that new lens is not something I, I really need. I can do without. I already have this Nifty 50. And tell me what you think about it. And check the links in the description to see all my gear and stuff, including this lens. In the meantime, my kid is having fun. Well, this was a simple video just to show you these cameras with this lens outdoors and the difference between a full frame and a crop sensor, what they can do with a 50 millimeters. Like now I'm standing like less than six feet away from the camera and I think it's pretty, I mean, decent, it's good. I mean, I'm framing myself pretty well without problems and I really hope the audio is good because it might sound a little muffled. Anyways showing also the other side because I was afraid I was overexposing it because I couldn't see very well from the LCD screen. But this is, again, the Canon EOS R with the Nifty 50 and I'm standing like less than six feet away, maybe five. Here it is. It's really bright today. There are clouds coming and going and it's almost impossible to expose the, the footage correctly, like permanently. I mean, I have to adjust it every, every two seconds. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,